Welcome back to Fun Being with Baby. Today we will be reading Little Miss Curious. Little Miss Curious. Little Miss Curious was a very curious sort of person. Just look at her house. It was a very curious shape, isn't it? Question marks everywhere. Literally everywhere. Now look at Little Miss Curious. She is rather curious looking too. And she also has a very curious nature. She wants to know the how, why and what of everything. She even has a question mark in her hair. That's curious. One day, Little Miss Curie set off for town. Why do doors squeak? But are not small and furry with pink ears and long tails? She asked her dog as she went out. Understandably, the dog didn't answer. She even has a question mark looking keyhole. Question marks everywhere. Why do flowers live in beds but never sleep? She asked the flowers in her garden. They just smile knowing, knowingly. When she saw a worm, Ugh, I hate worms. Why do worms in nonsense land wear bow ties? She asked. That's for me to know and you to find out about, said the worm laughing. Yeah, why do worms wear ties? That's the one thing I am curious about. Later on the way to town, little Miss Curious met Mr. Nonsense. Are you curious to find out what she asked him? Well, go on then. Turn over. I want to know, so I'm going to turn over. I'm curious, began to began little Miss Curious, to know why is that sandwich why why is that sandwiches are called sandwiches they don't have any sand in them it just so happens said mr nonsense that this is a sand sandwich i'm rather partial to sand is he having sand in his sandwich Christmas, he said. Then Mr. Nonsense ran away holding his sandwich carefully so that the sand didn't fall out. He does have sand in his sandwich. Little Miss Cuse eventually arrived into town. Did you, did I hear you ask why? Well, you are curious, aren't you? But are you as curious as Little Miss Curious? Are you? Are you? Little Miss Curious had gone to town to visit the library. I wonder, I wonder, would you be would you be able to help me? She asked. Of course, said Mrs. Page, the librarian. What are you looking for? I'm looking for a book, began little Miss Curie. A book that will tell me why the sky is blue. I mean, I like the colour blue, but that's way too curious. And why homes have teeth but can't bite? And why cherries?
players have legs but can't play football. And why? And she went on and on and on and on until there was a very long queue behind her that was growing longer by the minute. How could she be so much so curious about so many things? That's enough, cried Miss Page. Next, please. But why? Little Miss Curious started to ask. But without quite knowing how or why, she suddenly found herself in a street. How curious, Little Miss Curious thought to herself. How curious. I'm curious how Miss Curious is so curious. As she walked along the street, Little Miss Curious asked herself, Why is everybody giving me such curious looks? And why is Little Miss Careful waving her umbrella at me? Is it because it's going to rain? Why don't, why don't think so? We do we? Little Miss Curious ran off. Are you going to ask why? Are you becoming as curious as Little Miss Curious? Can you guess where she ran off to? Her house? I think I'm guessing that. Neither can I. Come back, Little Miss Curious, and tell us where you're going. You see, we're all ever so curious. Yes, really, we are. So guys, that was the end of this story. Hope you guys loved it. If you did, smash that like button, hit the bell notification, subscribe so you can see the rest of my videos. Goodbye!